What's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'll show you how to enable the TPM 2.0 module on your Windows PC to meet the system requirements for Windows 11. Windows 11 is just around the corner, and I ran a compatibility test on my computer. To my surprise, I received a message saying that TPM was not detected. However, this doesn't necessarily mean your computer doesn't have TPM 2.0. If you've built your system or purchased a new computer in the last 3 to 4 years, you should have this option available. Most computers ship with TPM 2.0 disabled in the BIOS. I'll show you how to enable it. Before we dive into today's video, I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on that big red subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it so you'll never miss out on our latest updates and helpful tech tutorials. Let's start by accessing the TPM management. Right-click on the Windows icon. In the lower left corner and select Run. Type tpm.msc and click OK. Another way to access the settings is through the Windows Security menu. Click on the Windows icon. Go to Settings, then Update and Security, and choose Windows Security. Click on Device Security. Within this menu, if you see the message stating that standard hardware security not supported, it indicates that the feature will become available once it enabled. In the TPM management, you'll see a message that says, Compatible TPM cannot be found. It asks you to verify if TPM 1.2 or later is enabled in the BIOS. This is where the issue lies. To access the BIOS, we need to restart the computer, shut it down completely, and power it back on. During the reboot process, pay attention to the screen and look for the key to press to run the BIOS setup. Now, depending on your system, the key to access the BIOS may vary. It could be the delete key, F1, Escape, or F10. Once you're in the BIOS, navigate to the Security tab. To locate the Trusted Computing or a similar feature, access the Settings menu on your device and navigate to the Security Options. Look for an option that refers to Trusted Computing. It is important to note that the availability and exact naming of this feature may differ based on your motherboard and BIOS settings. After finding the Trusted Computing option, select it and enable the Security Device Support function. Keep in mind that the steps required for enabling this feature can vary depending on your specific hardware and BIOS configuration. Once you have made the necessary changes, save the modified settings and proceed to reboot your computer. After the reboot, go back to the TPM management or device security settings. Run tpm.msc again, or navigate through Windows security settings. You should see the message TPM is ready for use. In the Windows security settings, under device security, you'll find the trusted platform module. Click on it and verify that the TPM spec version is 2.0 and the status is ready. Now, let's launch the PC Health Check tool where you can verify the status of TPM 2.0. Upon opening the tool, you will be able to observe that TPM 2.0 is currently enabled. That's it. By following these steps, you can enable TPM 2.0 on your Windows 10 PC, making it compatible with Windows 11. This can help ensure a smooth upgrade process without the need to purchase a new computer. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates and tech tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.